Hey guys, Colvin here. Welcome to the Ray Challenge video. Guys, the Freebie account has been here for 184 days. If you haven't subscribed to that, uh, if you haven't subscribed until so far, then what's keeping you? I want to hear that in the comments. If not, if you're subscribed, then thank you. Um, yeah, click that subscribe and like button. Always, it definitely helps out the channel. Let's go. Ancient Charge today, day 184. I'll be opening this up right now just because... I want to, okay, uh, there's no reason for me to do this, I got, uh, get nothing, uh, there's a fleshy tear out there, so, the thing is, guys, before we get into the actual account today, Chosen Chofly Elite is doing a free-to-play competition that starts tomorrow, so in a couple of hours when the Doom Tower finishes, there's going to be a new, brand new free-to-play competition, I want your opinion, should I be restarting the account, um, or should I just keep the free brew account to the side, focus on it uh, on my own, okay? And then do um, when when that free to play competition, if that tomorrow ends, then I'll continue back on the free brew account. Um, I think it's gonna drop me back a little bit because the free brew account needs my attention in order to progress. And my plan was play the free brew free brew account until the um, uh, well, until the Doom Tower refreshes and then push for the hard version of the Doom Tower and see where we can go. But this free to play competition, it seems like a, a good um, good time for me to start over again and do it for a while, do it for a month or so, and then come back to this account. Um, well, I'm also going to be trying to still play this account. It's going to be tough. So the idea of the free to play competition is the first person or maybe the person who finishes on the doom tower to the highest stage so if they finish the normal doom tower then that's the highest stage then they'll go into the um, hard version of the doom tower so the highest stage of doom tower finished by the end of the month by the end of the rotation the free to play account wins uh, and including in these rewards are the, the highest reward is 500 dollars and some gems and then the other rewards are again some gems so i was thinking compete in this and if i happen to win which I know the odds are slim. It's also RNG, guys. What kind of champions you pick up from shards and stuff. So it's also RNG. But, but guys, if I do happen to win, I'll probably be giving away all that to a lucky viewer or something. So that's going to be an additional incentive for people to watch. So if they're part of the, um, well, of the journey, they'll know uh, if I'll be giving away all that, um, all that stuff, all the rewards. So, in that sense, should I be going for another account? I have a main account. I have this account. Oh man, uh, especially the main account. I, I still don't find much time to do everything on the main account. I, I oftenly forget to do the clan boss. Uh, there's clan v clans all the time. There's this account that I need to be doing the clan boss keys. There's a limited amount of time every day, guys. And I don't know. But if you if you guys really want it, then I'll be pushing it. I already done a community post on my channel asking you um, as my community if you want me to do the competition for tomorrow, which starts tomorrow. Um, it's honestly, yeah, it, it's going to be a tough one to compete, especially with work obligations. Maybe I'll, I'll need to put some time off work so I can push, have all those accounts. Um, it's it's not easy at all, guys. I'm also playing Marvel Future Revolution on the site a little bit, but I'll probably have to drop that uh, altogether. I don't mind dropping that because there's no rush for me. I don't, I'm not doing any content on that game or anything. Um, I'm just doing it for fun for uh, the first few days that this uh, game has been released. But I want to hear your opinion. And yeah, that's it. That's it. That's it for the first few minutes of this video. Um, what I want to say, guys, is Versolve. Versolve, the Fragment Fusion that's going on right now. If you want to pick up this champion, guys, uh, you have to definitely go for the events that are remaining right now. This is the final part. If you haven't picked up any shards so far, any fragments, then it's going to be very difficult for you from now on to finish it um, unless a pack opens up. So if you're free to play, it's pretty much over. Okay, if you if you missed the uh, spider tournament if you've missed the arena tournament that's going on right now so the arena takedown um i still have two more days so i don't really worry about this uh there's a tag team arena tournament which gives rewards but i haven't done tag team because i was very busy which is another reason why i'm thinking of not doing the free-to-play competition honestly and then this um spider tournament which was easy rewards picked up those 75 fragments uh 75 gems and the five fragments 
And uh, yeah, that's it. That's it. You have to go hard uh, for this um, for this event because that's the only way to pick up the fragments. The artifact enhancement gives you five. This summoner gives you ten. And I actually had to open over five hundred mystery shards to finish this, guys. This was not easy. Um, if you remember from my video yesterday, I had six hundred mystery shards opened almost all of them look at that 120 left and i'll need to keep all of these for next friday so next friday we're gonna have a champion tournament champion summoning tournament which that gives you uh points again for this fusion for this resolve fusion i've got rule the huntmaster there waiting to be summoned that's an easy 500 points but still that uh that tournament depends on the quality of champions you summon so let's say here I've got, I'm going to have 35 ancient shards i'll need to summon quite a few um epic quality champions in order for me to actually pick up all those fragments and that's going to depend on me completing the fusion actually so um it's going to be tricky you, you can see that i'm fully maxed out on all my resources here which i need to use um so i i don't lose out so i'll try to finish these while the video is rendering, uh, which I'll be uploading on YouTube. So in the sense of progression, guys, I'm always doing my clan boss. Clan boss is a little bit difficult for the free brew. I haven't done any progression to it since I've done the unkillable team. Haven't even leveled up my my poor pain keeper there. She's still level 54. She does have masteries, but other champions that I use when I'm doing other difficulties. So for example, here I'm using, um, who's this guy? Yoshi. Uh, I'm using him because this boss is now Spirit Affinity. Yoshi is still not ascended, no gear at all that does any damage. He's just there to take a beating and Spirit Affinity um, kicks my ass in terms of damage. The only damage dealer is my Frozen Banshee and my poor little Avatar does almost zero damage. So if I wanted to boost my damage, it would have been to, um, to basically change up my damage dealers here. Maybe like this guy has two Frozen Banshees I could have done something like that. Two frozen banshees would be insane uh, for damage. Those poison sensitivities will be always up. Uh, no chance of them dropping and both of them just spamming their A1s uh, and keeping all those poisons up. So very low on silver. Remember, there's three artifact enhancement events this go around. So it's going to be an issue also for silver for me. Um, definitely not going to be an easy fusion, guys, uh, from the looks of it for... For what I've just said, for the um, for the gems part, so I've got 700 medals. I should be upgrading it, but there's gonna be a clan v clan soon, so I'm gonna keep those there. There's no rush. So be prepared for the champion training. Do all your farming because that's how you'll get some silver. Keep that silver. Use that on the artifact enhancement events. Uh, there's gonna be lots of uh, lots of classic arena activities as well. So be sure to uh, save your arena refreshes if you've got some of them. For those, do your best. Verzulf is a cool champion, but he's not a game-breaking champion. He's going to be good for provokes. If you're missing a provoke champion for both dungeons and, and and the Doom Tower, the Magma Boss, so Magma Dragon. So that's it for this video, guys. I'm not going to take this too long. Um, I'm already a bit tired from uh, from the whole day. Uh, guys, here in Cyprus, we've been having some, some crazy heat waves. We also have some fires happening in Cyprus. It's not in this part of the island where I'm at. It's on the left side of the island, uh, but it still is pretty big. Uh, so um, yeah. Thanks a lot guys for watching. Subscribe if you haven't already. And guys, um, again, if you want me to compete for tomorrow for the free to play competition and do a brand new account, which might mean dropping this account for a while, not focusing on it, too much just stalling all the progression then um yeah it will actually be impactful for this this video series i'll have to pause it for a while and then continue on the other one which will be like a brand new series for the free to play competition that chowfly is doing so this was the video guys for today thanks a lot for watching and i'll see you guys tomorrow for um the next episode or a brand new series see you soon guys bye